Hello YouTube. What is going on? This is Connor here, and I have some zombie driver gameplay here. Um, so I doubt I'd say ninety percent of you have never heard of this game before, and uh, the only reason I pl I'm playing it here is because I bought um, a reckless disregard for gravity. Which I absolutely love, and I will be posting a gameplay of that. Uh, yeah, I bought that, and I got four other indie games with it, and Zombie Driver was included. So this this round you're seeing here is the very first time I've actually played the game. I think that it's it's called Slaughter Mode. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, you just drive around in a taxi, mowing down zombies. It's quite therapeutic. <laughs> I didn't have a clue what I was meant to be doing, but I presume it was just uh, mowing down those lads. <laughs> yeah, so the reason I wanted to do a commentary for it was I just wanted to talk about games that I am looking forward to this year. And the first thing that comes to my mind is Final Fantasy XIII 2. And I know I'm an elitist prick, and I'm obsessed with PC gaming and shit, but uh, yeah, Final Fantasy XIII 2 is a console exclusive, and I absolutely love, I'm a long time fan of the Final Fantasy franchise, and uh, anyone who knows me personally will tell you that my favourite game of all time is Final Fantasy 7. It's not overrated, dickheads. Anyway. Yeah, Final Fantasy XIII. I actually loved the first one. I don't know why people were complaining about it. Yes, there were no open worlds, but still, it was very good. And I believe they're bringing back open open world into Final Fantasy XIII too. I don't think they said uh, it was going to be an open world. They said you can revisit towns you've been to, but it still sounds pretty cool. Another one, Red Orchestra Two. Right, I've never played the first one, but. I do play Killing Floor, and I'm a fan of Tripwire Interactive, so I will be buying Red, Red Orchestra 2. Looks quite interesting, actually. It's a PC exclusive, and they have all sorts of these gun physics in it now. Like, uh, it kind of reminds me of a first person shooter you'd see on the Wii, like the way the gun moves around. But still, it looks quite interesting. Look at me, nearly dying there. Um. Yeah, and it just the graphics don't look great, but still, I, it, it looks fairly fun. And it's from Tripwire, so I'm, I'm fond of supporting that company. Another one is Dead Island. Um, now this I've been interested in that in this ever since the teaser trailer came out, because uh, I'm sure everyone has seen the teaser trailer for Dead Island. It's like really well made, and it's the. Uh, Shows like a story of a family in a going to some island resort, and the place gets infected with zombies. And uh, yeah, and I've seen footage of it recently, and it looks really good. It's like like kind of like an open world thing, and of course Battlefield Three. But I'm not going to talk about that because you already know everything about Battlefield Three, and I will be buying that, and I will play the shit out of it. And I will be slagging people who play that on consoles because I'm a bastard, that's why. So that's the end of the commentary guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.